Well, today I got one of these scopes. Buddy of mine sent it to me from Canada. Uh, pretty nice scope. It's a Philips. Uh, I can't read the model number. It's got an LCD status indicator. But what's weird about it is on the back of the unit, it has a Fluke brand name. So maybe it was made by Fluke for Philips, or maybe made by Philips for Fluke. But I think it's the other way around. I think it was made by Fluke for Philips. But anyway, aside from that, um, got a couple of problems. Okay. Uh, here's a CRT. Doesn't look like there's any obvious burn marks, so the CRT should be okay, but yeah, you never know. The problem is this. Uh, if you turn the unit on, the unit will come on with a staticky display. And these little menu buttons down here, the menu will come up on a screen that's real weak and staticky. And the intensity adjustment doesn't help. The trace has noise, a lot of noise in it too. So first I thought it was a bad CRT, but that wouldn't explain the noise in the trace. So then I dismantled the unit and took the power supply unit out. And uh, since the power supply unit is out, I grabbed my trusty old capacitor meter, and you can't fix electronics without one of these bad boys. Because this sucker will read the ESR of a capacitor. If the capacitor is leaky, capacitance meters can still show a valid capacitance, but the equivalent series resistance, or ESR, would be extremely high in value which would make these capacitors totally useless so it looks like a newer scope but it's definitely got an old style board if you ask me so anyway tested the brown capacitors they're coming out good main filters are okay and those two silver ones are kind of okay but as I figured all these little blue ones they are toast they have an extremely high ESR, they do not register on the meter, okay? Uh, because of that, that could be why the power supply is experiencing noise. Especially because with this flyback, you got a cap up here, and one down here, that's not functioning, same problem, you know? Noise in the circuitry. But, uh... had to go get the analog board but um here's the analog driver board i guess this drives the crt those are probably your vertical horizontal drivers and uh same problem these little blue capacitors testing them it all except for one are bad one of them was re registering way up here so it ain't it ain't good that's the same problem we have a good, quite a big burn spot, probably just from heat usage, and the solder joints are not in good shape. This one don't have any of those electrolytics. This one is the same problem, so I'm gonna have to fix all that. And I accidentally spliced the cable, so I'm gonna have to fix that too. And yeah, these were a pain to take apart. But that's it for my endeavor.